Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. The decision to be the best that you can be. Let's take a second here, or let's take a couple of minutes, and give thought to the first time you had a desire to make a living doing voiceovers. What were your personal circumstances at the time? Did you hear about this profession from a friend? Whatever your circumstance was, you are here now. From here on, you have to make a solid commitment to invest in yourself. There is no need to be afraid of potential success or failure. The fact of the matter is this. If you give it your level best, you will see results that will transform your thinking pattern and make you think totally in the direction of positivity. You will think totally in the direction of positivity. Your glass, if you will, will start to feel half full and never half empty because your empty space is only saving a place for the full body of success that is about to fill your glass in the very near future. I am confident and I want you to be confident that you can succeed in filling the empty space and saving a place for the full body of success that is about to fill your glass in the very near future. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalisbury.com and sign up to I'll bet, I'll take a wild guess that many of you, many of you have been given compliments through the years about your voices, uh, encouragement to do something with this beautiful voice. And, and while that is a great impetus to get started, the fact that somebody told you you have a beautiful voice, that's a great impetus. You have to realize that you have a tremendous asset you know how people talk about assets. Uh, I have real estate, I have jewelry, I have um, uh, stocks and bonds. These are assets. Well, you have a tremendous asset in your voice and you need to treat it as such. You have to treat it like an asset because ultimately you are striving to create a career that is sustainable. Yeah, that is why finding your Niche or niche is so important. Finding out what you do best. When you find your niche, you can hone in on what is on what is true to you, on what it is that you do best. And it's really important to establish sustainability. Sustainability derives from consistency. So if you can consistently deliver the goods, so to speak, your career will indeed be sustainable, right? So you need to find things that you can really do and find that sustainable uh, pathway that you know you can go down the path of least resistance. Another word that comes to mind when I think about that decision to be the best that you can be is the word discipline. When you make decisions like this to be the best that you can be, the word discipline cannot be ignored. When you practice discipline, just sit back and watch what happens. Think about anything that you've tried to do in your life. Think about the time when you were determined to lose weight and you actually lost a large amount of weight. What was the key word that helped you lose that weight? The word was discipline. All right. You were very disciplined. When you gained it back, what did you lose? There goes that word again. Discipline. 
And so we have to have discipline in our voiceover careers. We have to have discipline in our lives. And we'll be back after this message. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for dailyvo.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. You also have to develop what I call a winning culture. Now, what do I mean by winning culture? Your daily routine has to be filled with positivity. You can't let negativity rule any day on this quest to financial success and let's call it spiritual sunshine. <laughs> because that is the feeling that has to be within you to be the best that you can be. As crazy as it may sound, Positive endorphins within your body. Yes, you have positive endorphins in your body. They are triggered by positive activities. I'll give you an example. Vocal exercises from my Tongue Twisters book, for instance, will trigger endorphins that will lead to you being positive when you start to read your voiceover copy. If some of you out there don't know what an endorphin is, endorphins are produced as a response to certain stimuli especially stress, fear, or pain. But they can also be produced, endorphins can also be produced, now watch this, they can be produced in response to happiness. So it's all about more positivity, less negativity, more stimuli that eliminates stress and pain and not believing in yourself, right? You have to believe in yourself. When you make the decision to be the best that you can be, it is a big step in your life. It is a grand leap, and it will be the best thing that ever happened to you in your life when you do that. When you make the decision to be the best that you can be. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury.